But in 2014, we saw a, a stream of thousands of unaccompanied children coming into Texas, and that is still happening today. Congressman Michael Burgess toured one of those processing centers where all the kids are being held in McAllen on Monday and is with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate Thanks for it. Thanks me on, Lori. I remember when we were covering this day in and day out and just how heartbreaking it was to see these kids who were alone, and a lot of them were very young, that had crossed into the border, and they were basically like being led in a line into these processing centers. At the same time, they came into this country illegally. So this really is a tough topic. It is a tough topic, and it was a big news story in 2014. It kind of diminished a little bit in 2015. I would tell you the numbers are significantly back up this summer from, from what I just saw. Right. The difference this summer is things are being managed a little bit better so that there's not the attention from, from the news shows as there was uh, uh, two years ago. As there was before. U.S. Customs and Border Security says nearly 5,000 unaccompanied children came into Texas illegally in June. 5,000 in one month. This is obviously still a problem. A huge problem. In fact, the uh, brief time that I was down there on Monday, a bus that was loaded up with 48 people was leaving the the park there on the United States side of the river uh -huh. as as we went down to uh, to drive some of the roads along the riverbank. Yeah, now you were able to take a, a couple of photos. We have just a, a few of the, of the landscape that was there. Uh, you saw several individuals. You saw a three-month-old. Three to six months old. Uh, uh, there was a group of six people. After the bus had passed by, uh -huh. after this uh, th this apprehension had taken place, a game warden came up to saw the border patrol truck and said, "Can you help me? I've got six people over here, and they need help." And indeed, it was six people: three women, a, a 14, 15, 16-year-old boy, and mm -hmm. two very small children. One probably three one clearly under six months of age. Yeah, uh, we haven't gotten an inside look into these centers. You have, how and are it's they 105 degrees down there on that riverbank uh, that day. The shoes were, were basically flip-flops. I mean, these were not people who were prepared right. to make a river crossing and a, a desert trek to civilization. Obviously desperate though. How are they being cared for once they are in U.S. hands? That is the part of the story that has improved. That won't satisfy some folks be, who want us to be doing a better job interdicting in the first place. But yes, of the children who are apprehended, the uh, the overall management of that part of the problem is vastly improved yeah. from what it was two years ago. You, you talk about vastly improved. Back in th there was an $800 million border security package that lawmakers in the state approved, and there was this whole surge in security in 2014. And, and and a lot of people thought that really is going to help this issue. Uh, I know the Texas Department of Public Safety, an, an official with them, said last month that uh, the 14 Texas counties on the border, they are considered under substantial control. Not total control, substantial control. Um, should that worry us? It should. And, and of course, that money that you refer to is state money, that the state right. is paying to do the job that, of course, the federal government is supposed to be doing that the federal government is not doing. Not that we're so not appropriating. the state is paying for yes. it. We're basically paying and for it, and so the federal government. So those are funds that are diverted from highway patrol and other areas, other state functions. Uh -huh. And that's a problem that cannot continue. And here's the, the what I can say consider one of the major problems is two years ago President Obama came to Dallas but he wouldn't go to the border with Governor Perry. The president needs to go to the border. You can't understand this stuff if you don't go look at it. If you don't go see what these men and women of the Customs and Border Patrol are dealing with okay. every day, the, the, the problems that they encounter every day, it's impossible to make policy if you don't look at that. Yeah, it's hard to see unless you see it with your own eyes. That's absolutely right. Congressman Michael Burgess, thank you so much thank for, for the job you do and also for uh, stopping by.